so much for being here. My name is Brady Martinez. I'm from a town just outside of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And yeah, so I'm just gonna give a short uh, version of my vocation story and then what SJV has meant to me. So growing up, I was the only guy in my class of 87 that went to mass on Sundays. So I always had this like desire for the priesthood or this desire um, to at least explore that, but it was very hard to live out my faith in my high school and in my, in my town because my friends didn't feel that way. And so I had a lot of fears of rejection, of judgment from my friends, and so I really hid my faith for a long time. And so I wasn't ready to, to pull the trigger on seminary to go, and so when I graduated I decided to go to the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. And it was there that I really encountered the love of God through the support and the faith of the people around me. It was for the first time in my life there that there were Catholic people my age, and I had role models, and people that really just inspired me to live out the faith in a real way and in an authentic way, and to invite others into that. And so from that, I became comfortable with like who I was as a Catholic and with sharing the faith with others. And I just really wanted to share the love, the joy, and the meaning that I'd experienced from my time at the University of Nebraska with others. And so, Last February, a little over a year ago now, I finally started the application to seminary and I've been at SJV. Um, this is my second year there. SJV has been a really life-changing experience for me, truly. One of the most life-changing experiences was a mission trip that I did over last Christmas break. We did a Christ in the City mission trip here in St. Paul. Um, and we just had these three missionaries from Denver, Colorado come and we did homeless street ministry. So we spent a week going out every day and encountering people on the streets, just talking with them and getting to know them and trying to show them the love of Christ and allow them to be heard. And it was really there that I realized that material poverty wasn't the only type of poverty there was. It was encountering these people that I realized there was something deeper that they were missing. And further, there was something deeper that I was missing as well. I realized that people needed relationships and that they needed to be loved. And this really just changed the way that I looked at the world. So I went back to the St. Thomas campus and I just saw college students and teachers in a different light. And it really just opened up my whole world to see people and to try to love them um, as they were. And it didn't matter what they had or what you know I was feeling, it was just I want to bring the love of Christ to them because that's what they deserve. Um, and so yeah, I am planning on going to India this, this winter as well. We're doing another mission trip and I'm super excited for just another life-changing experience to really just open up my heart to the world and to just change the way that I view the world. So thank you for listening.